This is crazy, Mama. I don't get why we gotta do this now. Because I'm ready. What's this gonna prove, though? I mean, you going in there all crazy and shit? It's more than proof. I'm sending a message. Whatever. Look, this is like the worst possible time. Unlike you, I'd actually like someone to ask me to prom. How you know I don't wanna go to prom? Look, I'm just saying. We walk in the public together and you looking all masculine and stuff. Might not send the right message. T, I love you and all, but you really need to learn when to shut up for real. Oh, yeah? Well, don't forget who did your hair nice like that. I said I loved you. But I really don't need you getting in my head. Not today, T. All right. Just saying. Oh my God. Right. Since when did Noelle start working here? Am I supposed to know who that is? No, just last year's valedictorian and probably the hottest guy to walk the halls of Richmond Hill. Did he just double take on you? What? You dicking around and you're training me. You have to kick a lot higher if you want to catch anybody off guard. Oh, yeah? Like you saw that coming. I mean, hit the back. <laughs> He's all right. Is that what's up? Yeah, I'd like to use the gym. <clears throat> this is a boxing and MMA gym. There's a Lucy Roberts like right around the corner if you want to check that out. Funny, but I'm here to train, Randall. How do you know my? Wait, my life? Bingo. You know you get smarter every time I see you. Unfortunately, I haven't seen you more than a handful of times, and you weren't exactly the sharpest of my brother's friends. That is, if you still have the nerve to consider yourself his friend. Everything's not as uh, black and white as you think it is. Junie's a tough guy. He'll make it out just fine. Yeah, with no help from you. Don't think you know me, Marlene. So what, are you a, you're a boxer now? Not exactly. Well, you can use the gym if you'd like, but um, she can't stay for long. There's no room for cheerleaders here. And what are you, desk boy? The team mascot? <laughs> okay, all right. Follow me. Hey, guys. I'm surprised I brought you. Whoa. Whoa. Hey, girl. Damn, I'll take the one on the left. Yeah, the one on the right looks like a dude. Oh, hell no. You wish. The whole lot of you look like you've been punched in the face a few times too many. Must not have any common sense left to spare. Noel, do me a favor, Marlene, and knock one of these chumps on the ass. I'll catch you later. Later, boys. What you doing, bro? Looks like she's a girl after all. What do you want? Anthony, is it? You know my name? I guess my reputation precedes me. <laughs> and you are? Nobody that'd be interested in you. Oh, no? There's a lot of things I could teach you. Not just fighting techniques. You know, I am thoroughly impressed by how you've managed to get every inch of your body rock hard. That is, except for that mere inch between your legs. Sorry, girls talk.
Yeah, you better watch your ass, bitch. Looks like you've done enough of that for me. Oh, shit. <laughs> Anthony got cut. <laughs> Mind if I step in? Sure. I mean, yeah, not at all. It's not bad. Stance is solid. What, no witty remark to put me down? Think I'm a bitch, don't you? Just like everybody else here. No, I like the way you handled yourself. I just thought you'd be too hard to take a sincere compliment. Why is that? I don't know, I just picture you being someone who throw up the middle finger during applause. It's not a bad idea. So it's true. When Randall told me you were here, I figured you wanted to talk. And then think in a million years you'd be here in full gear, training to box. I fight MMA. Perfect. Some of my guys have a couple MMA fights coming up next month. Come. We can talk, maybe we can even take a few pointers. I didn't come to talk. I came here to spar. Marlene. I like the confidence in the sudden passion for the sport, but come on. You think any of these guys are gonna wanna fight a girl? An inexperienced one, nonetheless? This wouldn't be my first fight. And I know you're not gonna tell me that any of these animals have some sort of moral compass there by and by. All right, listen up. I got my girl Marlene here, she wants to spar. Any of you animals think you're up for the task? <laughs> All right. Omar, how's your training going? You're kidding, coach. I asked you a question, Omar. Good. It's going good. Don't sound so sure of yourself. It's not like you have a match coming up. I'm ready, Rick. Good. Then you'll have no problem sparring with my girl Marlene here. I don't want to hit a girl, coach. Does she even fight like that? You'll find out soon enough. Let's go. I'm oh, standing around. Get in there, Marlene. You were born to do this. Come on. This fight will be three five-minute rounds. Keep it clean. Tap gloves when you're ready. No need for that. Oh, wow. You got this. You got this. Come on. Jam again. Let's do this. Please knock this bitch out. Come on. Come on. Come on. This fight is over. Marlene wins by way of armbar. All right. oh, okay. Good fight. So that's it? You're just gonna fight and leave? Here. We don't want your money. If you want to do right by my family, you'll leave Juni alone when he gets out. I can't promise he'll do the same. Yes, you can. It's not that simple, Marlene. Juni's like family. If he looks to me, I won't turn the other cheek. Look, I don't give a fuck what you think he is to you. You leave us be. Remember who you're talking to, Marlene. I know exactly who I'm talking to. Do you? Where do you think you're going? Let him go! 